to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gina. I'm on my way to my wax appointment and I freaking hate getting waxed. Like literally. Anyways, my cousin Capri, she's turning 21. She's having her birthday in Atlanta. I'm just excited because, you know, Atlanta's a vibe and I love spending time with my cousins, especially when we're traveling. She's having a like TikTok cowboy hat party. I will be making one tonight. I ordered most of my supplies from Amazon and then I got my cowboy hat from Party City. I'm really excited to, you know, show y'all my vision and see how it comes out. It's gonna have to be cute. Like, I don't have no choice. I don't know if I'm gonna make this appointment. Like, it's giving we're running late it's giving hurry up i just finished getting wax um it really hurt i'm super super excited to make these tiktok cowboy hats honestly you guys i feel like mine is gonna come out really really good i'm just like that diy craft girl like So I got this all white cowboy hat from Party City for about $15. I'm going to start by removing all tags and stickers from the hat and I'm going to go ahead and paint over it with white paint. Now even though the hat is already white, I'm going to paint over it just so that I can give the glitter a smooth surface for it to stick onto and then also it just gives the hat a much cleaner and brighter look. Now I'm just doing touch-ups, making sure that each part of the hat is painted evenly and wherever I feel like needs to be painted over, I do it again. So next I'm just blow drying the hat for a faster drying process and to give it a nice even coat. Now we're going to go ahead and take this Mod Podge and we're going to take this craft glitter which I ordered off of Amazon. This is in the color Mother of Pearl. It's such a pretty shimmer like I'm absolutely in love. Now we're going to paint each section of the hat with Mod Podge but you're going to paint a section at a time and then you're going to lightly shake glitter on top of that section. So after I pour the glitter on each area, I go in with a sponge brush and lightly dab on any glitter on the areas that I missed. Okay, so I just finished stage one of my hat. I repainted it and then I glittered it up. You can't really see because the light. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna bedazzle the hat, add some nice diamond trimming and yeah, make it even more cute. Diamond trimming that I got also from Amazon. It's super pretty, super sparkly. Okay, so now I'm just using a hot glue gun to glue down the diamond trim. There was already an outline to this hat because this hat lights up, so I basically just glued the trim around the lights. And this is what it looks like after adding the diamond trimming. So next I printed out my alcohol bottle logo and then I'm using a Picto knife to carve out the logo and I'm just going to try to get it as clean of a cut as possible. FYI you guys, this Picto knife is super sharp and I actually ended up marking up my desk. So if you're going to use this tool, just make sure you're using it on a surface you don't care about or maybe like on top of a book that you don't care about. So once I carved out my logo, I'm just going back in to clean it up, making sure that I get all the white pieces off and it's just the logo itself. Now I'm going back in with some Mod Podge and a paintbrush to stick down the logo onto the hat. So this part was a little bit tricky for me just because I was trying to glue on the logo but it wasn't sticking. But basically the method that works is to paint on your surface first and then place your logo and then paint on top of your logo. So 
now I'm going in with my blow dryer again, making sure to really set that Mod Podge so that the logo does not move. Okay, so here's my hat so far. It's really, really cute. I love it so much. So now I'm going in with my hot glue gun again and I am gluing down this feather boa which I also ordered off of Amazon. Before doing this, I actually glued down these jeweled studs just to give it an extra razzle dazzle, but I forgot to film it. So after I glued down my feather boa, I am going in to just trim off any feathers that are in the way. And yeah, that's basically it. This was a super cute, fun, and easy DIY. I definitely recommend it for you guys to try out. it for this video i hope y'all enjoyed watching me make one of these tiktok cowboy hats definitely let me know in the comments down below if y'all end up making one of these they're so cute perfect for halloween thank y'all so so much for watching this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye